Hi, and welcome back to Design of Machine Elements and Systems in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. This is lecture number five, and the topic is on uh, acceleration analysis of machine components. This is the first of such uh, topic. Okay? This is the first lecture, and uh, there's going to be some uh, derivation of uh, well, the the uh, the uh, parts of okay the dynamics of rigid bodies. Now let us take into consideration this uh, bar. Okay, this 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 link that is moving in such a uh, direction. Okay, so you have a, a pin joint. And then this pin joint is um, moving to the uh, left, okay? And so we have here, okay, the velocity, okay, of A, and it's rotating about uh, this direction, okay? So uh, let's let's try to organize our, this this chart. Okay, it's moving around this uh, pin joint. Now, okay. So uh, we will derive now the uh, the different okay, the different um, acceleration uh, the, the analytical solution. Okay, to this um, given. Um, design problem okay so uh, we know that this is rotating okay about this pin joint with a certain uh, angular uh, velocity okay and a an ang angular acceleration so okay we have um, an acceleration that will be along this line okay and along this line okay from our uh, our dynamics, okay, your acceleration is what, okay? So you have your acceleration, okay? The uh, composed, okay? Composed of, or it decomposes into your tangential acceleration, okay? And your uh, normal, okay? Your normal acceleration. Okay? So you have your um, components, okay, as shown. Now, what is, again, VA is, well, it's given from the past, okay, from the past lecture that uh, the V, okay, the VA is simply equal to, okay, times R, okay, the angular acceleration times R, okay, the radius, okay, at, at which location this, uh, the, the point of consideration is, okay. Now, how do you solve now for this two, okay, two components, okay? Now, A, okay, the tangential is similar in, in the tangential component is uh, similar in concept to the velocity, uh, the, the, um, the velocity, okay, at point A. So it is going to be alpha times r, and okay, the um, the normal okay, the normal component is now okay, is going to be okay, the angular velocity times um, v a. Okay, now if this this can be uh, reduced to simpler terms. Okay, so that you have here a okay, W. Yeah, you just say W, but it's not really W. Okay, so it's um, going to be W squared R. Okay, or in some cases, okay, or you have your A, a the normal acceleration equals what? Uh, so from this one, we get. So we have, okay, we have here VA over R, and then we square this quantity times the R, and so we get VA squared R over 
r squared. And this is equivalent to what? And this is Va squared over r. Okay. So these both are, are, are uh, equations that can be used to determine the uh, normal acceleration. And okay, to get the um, acceleration, okay, the final acceleration will be uh, these are vectorial, okay? So these are vectorial, vectorial. So there's a positive, um, uh, this, this is vectorial addition, by the way, okay? Now this is the analytical solution. And at some points, okay, using the graphical method, these are uh, called for. So these are required. Now let's try to solve, okay? Considering the same problem we had last time. Now let's try to solve uh, that problem, okay? And find for a an acceleration of a, a part of that uh, linkage. Okay. Okay. Wait. It's just okay. So this is now the same linkage. Okay. But what is being asked this time around is the uh, acceleration of this uh, slider C. Okay. So this slider C is being um, determined of its acceleration wherever this, this the, the direction is. So it could be going to the left, okay? Because we know that as this uh, bar, okay, bar zero uh, O one B is rotating to the left about O one B at O one. This drags along this uh, linkage, this 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 bar, and uh, this link, and then dragging along this slider C, which we know is sliding along uh, along this direction. So it's a, a vertical motion. So imagine that as a piston, okay? Just just uh, just um, just imagine. But anyway, so what we want here is to find the acceleration of the uh, slider. And okay, we know that the crank has Okay, this crank, okay, this is the link, which is a crank, okay. We know that this crank has a constant velocity of 20 centimeters per second. Now, thus there is a, a zero, okay, zero angular acceleration. But does it mean that uh, this has zero acceleration? So we have to find out. Now, <clears throat> we know, okay, that um, thus, okay, we know that the Acceleration okay, uh, of B, okay, the tangential component is zero, but okay, we have a value for the normal, okay, and it's what? It's equivalent to what? Okay, it's going to be okay, the W, okay, the W, there's a W here, okay. Um, it's going to be let's let's term it as this is link number one, this is link number two, and this is link number three or zero. Okay, link zero. So link one. Okay, this is about link one. So we have w one times k okay, uh, w one o one b. So instead of r, we refer to the link. Or the crank as zero one. This is the length of the crank zero one b. So we have w one squared zero one b. Okay, and then okay, we can now solve for, or we can simplify this one. Okay, we can simplify this one to uh, again uh, v squared. Okay, v squared v a squared over zero one. B, okay, so this is going to be what? This is going to be uh, it's 20 centimeters, okay, 20 centimeters per second. You square that and divide by the uh, length of O1B, and that's going to be two meters, okay? We can simplify this as, um, as um, I mean, we convert this to similar units. So you get okay, 0 0.2 um, meters per second squared. And then you, you square that. So it's uh, 0 0.04. And you get 
0 0.2, ah, 0 0.02 meters per second squared. Okay. Or this is going to be uh, 2, okay? 2 centimeters per second squared. That's going to be the acceleration uh, normal component. Now, let's try to solve for C. I think this is the, the very minimum uh, required solution in okay? the analytical portion that's required. Okay, That's what I was telling you a while ago that it's, it, it's called for to solve analytically at some portion using your graphical method. But let's proceed now to the actual graphical method of solution. Let's uh, move over to uh, the... Okay, let's move over to our, our graphing, okay? our, our, our graphing uh, software, okay? And it's, uh, yes, the a, a, a computer aided design software. So uh, this is again, the equivalent of that, uh, so that, uh, drawing a while ago so the diagram of the uh our our uh, linkage now where is that normal acceleration that we talked about the two centimeter normal uh two meter per two centimeter per second squared normal acceleration component of um at, at point a so it's going to be directed along zero and b okay so what we do is okay we do the actual measurements. So it's going to be two centimeters. All right, so it is already scaled. Uh, this is one is to one. So let's try to do the same. Copy this uh, I think it's going to be copied. Okay, we rotate that. I'm having a hard time. Um, 90, 90 degrees. Oh, sorry, it's going to be. Oh, it's anyway, it's okay. So we assume that this is going to be our our construction line for the the length. So we what we do now is to offset this one by two. Okay, two. That, go, that means two centimeters. Yeah, that's going to be two, and we create a line. To signify that this is the two meters centimeters, okay, this two centimeters per second squared, a normal acceleration component at point B, okay, this is point B. So uh, what we do now is, okay, we know that the direction of this acceleration of at point C, so it's going to be along this line as well, okay. There's no other direction; it's not rotating about anything. There's no instant set, instant center of velocity. Uh, what connects this, okay, this point B to point C is this linkage. And since this is a body, as we have discussed some time ago, it's going to have the same, okay, the same um, components, okay. That will be affecting the movement of C about uh, B, okay. So what, what, what are the components of C about B? So it's going to be along this direction, okay? And it's going to be along this direction. The tangential would be along this direction and the normal would be along the link B, C. So at that given moment, okay, what we do is we, we uh, copy this. So I think we have to create a line first, okay, along BC, so we just move that. Along, why are we connecting it to the end of the two centimeter, uh, two centimeter line, okay? Because we know that uh, this is going to be what? This is going to be uh, the direction of the normal component of C with respect to B. Now, this is what we call the acceleration polygon that's, uh, that we are creating. And at this point, okay, we have now to solve again analytically using our, our uh, solution, okay? 
our solution for the A sub C. Okay. Um, well, how do you do that? Okay. How do we do that solution? Okay. By what? Trying to solve for the normal component of um, AC. Okay. The AC is going to be about, or, or it's going to be uh, the acceleration, okay, the acceleration of this one, I don't know, the velocity of link BC times the length of BC, because it's going to be what? It's going to be about this point, okay? So it's going to uh, be moving along this direction. So how long is that going to be? Let's try to solve it, okay? Now, let's try to solve it. It is going to be, it is going to be, okay, you have your AC uh, composed of two, okay, component uh, vectors, the AC N and the tangential uh, portion, okay. So your AC N is going to be W2 uh, times B C. Okay, square root of that. Or it's going to be what? It's going to be equal to uh, V, uh, B, C, okay? Uh, v, C with respect to B squared over B, C. Okay. Now, this has been solved last time. And it's equivalent to what? It's equivalent to, it's equivalent to 7.9 centimeters uh, squared. So we would uh, we square that, and we have the length of BC. Now, what is the length of BC? The length of BC is unknown, but by sign law, okay, the, the sign um, law of signs, okay. So we have BC, okay. We know the angles, and using the ASA or AAS law, okay, or AAS uh, trigonometric properties, okay. Sine seventy is equal. A BC over sine 70 is equal to O1B over sine 30. At least we know the length of O1B. So we get BC equals 0,1B okay, times sine 70 over sine 30. And we get 3.76 meters. And that's what we uh, divide at the bottom. Or uh, we divide the upper portion with the with with okay, and we get here it's zero point seventeen okay zero point seventeen centimeters per second squared okay. Now, uh, where is that going to be okay? So this is going to be the, the path okay, but how long? So it's going to be just zero point seventeen. So uh, we try to do that okay, we try to do that. Okay, so it's 0 0.17. Uh huh. Okay, 0 0.17. All right. And go back here. Okay. B rotate that. By 90. And we offset that by uh, 0 0.17. I, I think I have the exact figure. Um, let's just try to resolve that. So I think like, we can get the actual um, by um, one. by 3.76 okay, times eight. I think I lost my so this is the apple oh, this is the okay, divided by one hundred is going to be 
sorry, I'm trying to figure what time is coming out then. Okay, so it's 0.1659. You can copy this one, put it here. Okay. Uh, I just rounded up, up to 0.17. Okay. So we offset this to over here. Now that's going to be uh, the um, the okay the AC N okay and what to do next now is to get the tangential component okay uh, we we actually just get the AC B okay but because we can actually solve for the uh, individual component accelerations so we're trying to do that so the direction now of um, the tangential is going to be what it's going to be along this line. So we, we just, okay, we just copy this line. Oh, sorry. We have to copy this line. Okay, from that end to, okay, over here. And so we get now the direction, okay, and the value of this a sub c. This is now a c, okay? Because we have, we have just found our, um, this our, our a sub c, okay? Because we have just found the components, okay? The a sub um, c t, okay? This is our a sub c t. So this is our A sub C, and the dimension of that is going to be okay, 0 0.2094, okay, or 0 0.021 um, centimeters per second squared, okay? That's going to be our final answer, okay, for this problem. Now, there are a lot of types of linkages and the same, okay? The same process of analysis, okay? Using uh, the graphical will apply to all, okay? To all problems with uh, involving acceleration. Uh, in the next lecture, okay? Discussion on um, the analysis, okay? Of acceleration of points in four bar linkages will be discussed. Thank you for listening and I'll see you then.